What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Jay. If you're new to this channel, I do this talking about how I part out cars and sell car parts from my house, sell them on eBay to make extra side money. I have a regular 40 hour a week job. This is just a side hustle for me right now. Someday in the future, it would be nice if I could make this a full-time job. But for right now, I just do this on the side as much as I can. Um, lately, I've been doing a lot of it, but I'm gonna be slowing down here in a little bit because I have a lot of other things in my life that I need to take care of first. I'm still going to be doing eBay and having car parts, but it's not gonna be my main priority for the next couple of months. I've started to try to organize my life a little bit around my car parts, and I'm gonna do this video to show you guys a couple negative things about why this is a difficult thing to do from your house. I have had car parts and boxes and bubble wrap that I've showed you guys before. I have them all over my house. I have them in my attic. I have them in my garage. I have a parts car in my garage right now. So it can take a lot of your space away. And when you're working from home, space is one of those things that you really don't have too much of. If you were doing this from a warehouse or if you had a giant garage, then it would be a lot easier to make everything better and more organized. But when you're working from your house and you only have a certain amount of room, then it can be rather difficult. So like I said, I just started organizing because I need to move a lot of my stuff out of my way so I can finish some other house projects that I've been working on for a while. And I wanted to show you guys how much stuff I had just laying around my house. This is all stuff that is in the way, but if you don't have it, then it's harder to sell on eBay and sell car parts. So. It's one of those things where you need to have all of this stuff around, but if you have too much, it gets in your way. So I just wanted to make this video to show you guys what I'm working with and what it looks like working from your house. If you guys are thinking about starting a used car part business from your house or doing some side work like this, you know, you can watch this video and you guys can see what I go through to see if it's worth it for you. Obviously, if you're making good money, anything's worth it, but I just wanted to show you guys a couple things that are bad about doing this. So right here, you can see this giant pile of boxes and then this giant pile of bubble wrap. I've done a couple videos talking about boxes and bubble wrap, but this right here is basically the biggest pile of boxes that I have in my house. All of this stuff was in my garage until I moved it out here. So all of this stuff was in my way. And as you can see, you know, I got boxes inside of boxes. Um, I've got big boxes for headlights, you know, here's three boxes right here, more boxes, lots of little boxes, um, you know, lots and lots of boxes. But if you don't have boxes, you are not going to be shipping anything out. So I take all these home from work. They are all, you know, free to me, so I don't have to buy any and, um, you know, put any of my profits into buying supplies. So I take these home. But the problem is, is that now you have to put all of these boxes somewhere. You could break them down and then stick them somewhere better, but then you don't know what size they are. And then you're breaking all the tape and having to retape them all. And like I said in another video, you know, you could buy the same size boxes, but car parts are different sizes. So it's good to have a variety of sizes around. This giant box right here, I have a dashboard I need to sell, so I took that home so I could put the dashboard in it. This box might be a little bit too big for that dashboard. I haven't even looked yet, but I mean, that box is, you know, five feet long, so that's a big box to have in your way. Same thing with the bubble wrap right here. I have six of these bags full of bubble wrap, and then all of this bubble wrap I found in boxes that I had put everything in. So I have probably about two more bags I can fill up with just the bubble wrap. Once again, it's one of those things where you need the bubble wrap to put in all the boxes when you're shipping them out. You know, I could buy bubble wrap and keep it on a roll, but all this stuff is free. You know, this is hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of bubble wrap for free. So it's hard for me to say no about that stuff. So if you guys are wondering what it looks like to keep shipping supplies at your house, imagine having this pile of boxes in the pile of bubble wrap somewhere in your house. Most of this stuff is gonna go in my attic. I'm gonna make it a lot easier up there to get to the boxes, but I'm gonna put all this stuff in the attic to get them out of um, my cellar down here. 
So if you guys are wondering what it, what it takes to keep boxes and shipping supplies in a house, you know, this is a good pile. Maybe it's a little much, maybe it's a lot, but um, you know, it's all free. So I do take it home, but as you can tell, it's a huge pile. Now over here is another pile. This pile is all car parts. Now these are all car parts that I have at my house, obviously that are not listed for sale on eBay yet. Most of it is all stuff I've taken home from work. There are some parts from the parts cars in this pile, but mostly it's all stuff I've taken home from work that is not even listed on eBay. And what I need to do is I need to go through this and you know start listing some stuff out. This is dusty obviously, but it is a nice third brake light from Cadillac Escalade. Um, I got headlights in here. This bag right here is a S5 grill that it was about 12 or $1,300 from Audi. So I took this home. It's got one little crack in it so I can sell that. Um, there's a fan shroud in that box. These boxes right here, I have grills in, Audi headlight. Um, these are two more grills right here. Spoiler from a BMW X5. And then I have a lot of, you know, random small parts in these boxes like that that have come from um, used car parts. I have a lot of other random little stuff in here also. Wiring harnesses and uh, window regulators and sensors and blind spot sensors and, you know, more stuff. So I have this whole pile right here, which is probably half of the car parts that I have at my house. I probably have double this that are not on eBay yet. So I probably have $5,000 at least worth of parts sitting right here that aren't even listed. So I need to go through this pile and then put some away and then list some out working 40 hours a week and then coming home to doing this is, you know, does take a lot of time. So I don't always get all the time to just list car parts all day long. So, and that's why it backs up like this. So as you can see, I have this whole pile right here and I have that whole pile right there. So I'm just trying to give you guys a good idea of how much stuff you really need to have to be able to sell a lot of car parts and how much space this takes up. So as you can see, I got a lot of stuff hanging around. You guys might think I'm a little ridiculous, which my wife does also. But if I don't take this stuff, then it gets thrown away and then I can't use it. So someone like me, it kind of hurts because I hate to throw things away, especially when they're free. So I take it home. But then once I pile it up and pile it up, it looks like what it does behind me. So it's obviously way too much stuff. I need to reorganize my life to try to make this easier on me to um, keep selling on eBay. But the other thing is, is that all the car parts that I showed you, it's all worth money. Eventually when I do sell them, it'll just be more income coming into my house. So it will be nice. One of my more popular videos is negatives that I've learned about doing this. Um, selling car parts on eBay. So I wanted to do this video again, talking about some more negatives. And obviously I can show you guys exactly what it looks like to keep all this stuff in your house. So I'm hoping that this kind of opens up somebody's eyes out there. If you guys are looking into doing this or if you've already started and you feel the same way as me, because sometimes I feel like I can't get ahead because I have so much stuff piling up. So I gotta reorganize how I do things around here. Hopefully it'll go smoothly. This week I'm gonna start working on organizing it. I got some racks in my cellar that I'm gonna put some car parts on and I'm gonna put a lot of stuff in the attic. And if it sits up there for a year, it sits up there for a year. All these car parts are not obsolete. They're not really old cars. So even if they sit around for a year, once I get to selling them, the cars will still be on the road. I probably don't have many parts that are even 2005 or older, they're probably all 2010 and newer. So all these cars are still around. So even if they sit for a little while, then I'll still be able to sell them. Obviously, if I don't wanna sell them or it's not worth the time, I'm just gonna throw them away and just get rid of them that way. I obviously don't have the space to just keep everything for you know five to 10 years. So I gotta pick and choose what I wanna sell and if it's worth it or not. But I hope you guys like this video. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys exactly what it's like at my house doing this, which 
Most of the time it looks a lot better than this, but the last six months has really gotten away from me and I've just piled things up on top of each other. So I'm gonna clean this up, hopefully get reorganized so I can sell more and sell easier on eBay. And I do have some other projects around my house I need to get done first. So I'm gonna slow down on eBay for a little while just to get other things done because once they're done, then I don't have to worry about them again. And hopefully soon I can go a lot harder on eBay and sell a lot more stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Obviously, if you did, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. That way I know that you guys are wanting to watch all the videos that I do. I'm gonna try to keep doing all these videos. If you have any suggestions about any other videos or want more info on anything, just let me know, comment, and um, I will get back to you. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.